The water spigot is ready to go. Now I really want an outdoor shower and I want it right here underneath this beautiful tree because at the end of the day there's nothing better than taking a rinse outdoors after a long day of work, is there? So, lessons anfangen. I started by using my backhoe to dig down a few inches. Of course you don't need a tractor and a backhoe to dig a bit. You can use just a shovel if you like. Oh, oh and surprise, surprise. If you have been following my video, you already know. Every time I dig, I find more and more trash. So really that isn't a surprise. This time I found two metal T-posts. That should be enough. The soil is loose enough to use a shovel to clean it up and make it look nice. And look what I found, a stone. That's like the first stone I've been finding here in the sandy soil. I'm looking to get the perfect square. That will do. Now it's time to get my little workout tool. The hand tamper. That thing is definitely gonna keep you fit. I cut the concrete pavers from Home Depot. They were around a dollar fifty each. I placed them in the center of the shower and then surrounded it with stones for drainage. I built a square box out of pressure treated wood. This will be the outside shape of the shower to keep everything in place. To cut the pieces I used my miter saw. To screw it all together, I'm using exterior grade screws. Make sure the box is square. I place the box into the hole so the top is just barely higher than the surrounding surface. Then I added a bunch of bags of paper base. Once I added the paver base, it started to temper again. Let's get that workout in. I added some water to the surface to help compaction. Then I tempered again. So it's about here that I noticed that the paver base material I purchased isn't barely enough. I needed to come up with a fix for that. But more to that later. For now, I stained the top of the lumber to match it to the color the rest of the outer shower will be stained at. And here's that fix. I have loads of cinder blocks all over the property. I even have some top caps. I use those to raise the level of the pavers so they fit flush with the surface and this leaves the channel around to add stones for drainage. Genius idea. What you can't see here is that I added cement to the bottom of the pavers to sit them securely into place. My camera decided to take a nap, so you can see the process, but you know what I did. Here I'm building the pieces that the horizontal slats will be attached to. Those pieces will be cemented into the ground. To attach this piece to the base, I cut out a little lip so the structure can rest on the base. Here I'm cutting the slats, 14 of them exactly. To make the pieces look cleaner, I used my hand router to router over all the edges. Once I routed over all the edges, it was time to smooth out all the pieces. So, 
put on some good music and have some fun. All the pieces are ready and it's time to assemble the structure. I don't want the screws to be visible, so I'm going in from the back. I pre-drill all the holes. To keep the piece from moving while I drill the hole, I'm using a clamp. Before I attach the rest of the pieces, I place the shower structure into place and cement it into the ground, since I don't want to risk a piece being too heavy for me to lift. I always work alone and therefore I always have to adjust to my abilities. So let's mix up some cement. For this project, I would recommend using fast setting cement, however, I have that back here, so I'm using that. I added the cement into the holes that I dug to stabilize the shower and keep it in place. Always make sure everything is level so everything lines up in the end. I let the cement cure and then came back to attach the rest of the pieces. And again, to hide the screws, I screw them in for the back. For the stain, I'm using the same stain as I used for the base. I let the stain dry for most of the day and then came back and drilled in the holes for the shower fixtures. I'm using a 1 inch drill brick for this particular fixture. This fixture I had ordered from Amazon. For all of the threads I'm using plumber's tape. I follow the same instructions for the shower knob. Connect the pieces with the back of your plumbing and this is fatig. Next up I finish the base. Underneath the stones I decided to add some landscaping fabric. Just to help with weed suppression. Then I added the stones. And we are fertig! And what do you think? This shower has been a lifesaver for me. It's so refreshing to take a rinse after a long day at work. Join me on Patreon if you like to see more of my shower endeavors. Otherwise, see you next Friday. Tschüss!